All right, this video is about forms of equations. You've learned two different forms, a point-slope form and a slope-intercept form. So I'm just reviewing you on these two forms. This equation right here is your point-slope form. If you remember, m is slope. And the point is the x1 and the y1. And that's the given point that whatever problem they give you, they give you a point and a slope, and you plug them in, and then you clean it up, solve it out for y. The other form that you're familiar with is called the slope-intercept form. It's the y equals mx plus b form. And again, here is m, and that's your slope. And if you recall, b is your y-intercept, which we have already talked about in class. All right, so here's problem one. Find the line in point-slope point form given those two points. Notice I put up here the slope formula for you. I will not give that to you on tests. You need to know that. Here's the point-slope formula. You need to know that as well. That's review. You should get it memorized if it's not already there. So the first thing I have to do to be able to get find the point slope form is to find the slope, right? Well, there's the formula for that. Now, if you remember y1 and y2, talk about the y coordinate. So here's y1, here's y2, x1 and x2, here's x1, and here's x2. All right, so if I plug those values into my slope formula, I say 0 minus 6 over 6 minus 1. I get negative 6 over 5. That's my slope. So now I know what I plug into the, the formula for m. Now for x1 and y1, I can use this point or I can use this point. So there's two possible solutions for this problem. Let's do this, this one first, okay? So as I take this equation, I say y minus the y coordinate, which is 6 equals negative 6 fifths x minus the x coordinate, which is 1. So here's one answer for this problem. That is that line in point slope form. There's another way I could write this line with a different point. So let's say I have this point right here. And I'm going to do the same process. Use the equation and plug values in. So y minus y, which in this point the y is a 0. So I'm going to put minus 0. The slope is the same, and then x minus, what's the x coordinate? 6. All right, so if I clean this up, really y minus 0 is just y. So I have y equals negative 6 fifths x minus 6. So if I am told to put it in point slope form, I leave it just like this. Either answer is correct, because you're using two different points, it's going to look a little different. Notice the slope is the same, however. Try the next one. Find the line in point slope form. Again, here's your two points x1, y1, x2, y2, and then find slope. So, slope's our first step. So, I do y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So, negative 4 minus 8 is negative 12. Negative 7 minus 2 is negative 9. Um, I clean that up. Negative two negatives make a positive, and then I reduce that by three, and I get four positive four thirds. So there's my slope. Now I'm going to put it in point, point slope form using this point first. Okay, so y minus eight equals the slope was four thirds, and then x minus two. That's one solution to this problem using that first point. The other one, using this point, okay, y minus the y, which was negative, so minus a negative means plus 4, equals 4 thirds, x minus negative 7 means plus 7. So again, depending on which point you use for your point slope form, you may have one of these two answers and both are correct. You don't have to find both, but you got to find one of the two. So hopefully that makes sense. We will talk more in class. Make sure you have good, nice, neat notes, and we'll see you in class.